Exercise 13, Conversation 1. Listen to part of a conversation between two friends on campus. Did you see that TV special on Norman Rockwell last night? You know, the one that Dr. Mitchell mentioned in class last Wednesday. Yeah, I did. I don't have a TV, but I went over to a friend's house. It was really good, wasn't it? It sure was. I thought it was really interesting how he made... He developed the paintings in stages, starting with photographs. I'm glad Dr. Mitchell mentioned that in class, or I, I mean I might not have understood that part of the program as well. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I thought that was interesting, too. It never occurred to me that he would have actually employed, um, models. I just assumed that he invented all those, those wonderful characters. Then when Dr. Mitchell said that the characters were real, well... I know, but it does make sense to use photographs of real people to solve as many of the, uh, the composition problems as well before starting to paint. Uh-huh, true. The special really made that clear, didn't it? It did. I like the way they, they interspersed recreations of the modeling scenes with the actual Rockwells. Really? That was awesome. I'm sorry I didn't record it. I did. Really? Yeah. Would you, I mean... Do you want to see it again? Sure. Hey, maybe we could do something for, um, extra credit? That would be great. Let's talk to Dr. Mitchell about it. Okay. He said he was open to extra credit projects. Oh, but you probably don't need any extra credit. Oh, yes, I do. I don't do that well on tests, so... Really? That's surprising. You're always the first to answer in class. Sure, but the tests are essays, and I'm not... I mean, I'm not that good at writing. Okay, then. Let's do the extra credit. Okay. Anyway, you know what I like most about Rockwell? What? Well, when you look at one of the magazine covers, which magazine was it? The Saturday Evening Post. Right. Well, you can just tell what the people are thinking and feeling. The picture really tells a story. Yeah, I like that, too. And to think that he created several hundred of those. Amazing. Of course, that was over a long period of time. Wasn't it almost 60 years? But still... I'd like to see them when the exhibit comes to Miami. What exhibit? The one they mentioned after the special. Oh, I must have turned it off before the announcement. I'd like to see it too. Maybe we can work that into our extra credit project, going to the exhibit. But even if we can't, let's go. Okay. When is it? Next week. And it's here on campus, so that's easy. Well, that gives us a couple of weeks before the end of the semester to finish the extra credit. What do you want to uh, propose for it? Remember, I'm, I'm not great at writing. Well, you've already got the video, right? Right. Then why don't we submit the video and um, some photographs of the exhibit? We could do a short introduction and maybe... I know. We could package it for the reserved desk at the library. Great idea. That way, people who didn't have a chance to see the video or uh, go to the exhibit, they could see the material in the library. And the really good thing is that Dr. Mitchell can use it every semester for his class. Wow, that's brilliant. He should like that. Now, all we have to do is uh, write the proposal for the extra credit. I'll do that. I really don't mind writing. This is terrific. I can do the photos easily. I was counting on that. After all, you're the art major. Oh, uh, just one thing. We'd better find out if I, if I can shoot photos at the exhibit. I mean, sometimes they won't let you do that. Even for a class project? Look, I don't know. But I'll find out who, uh... Who to call for, for permission. Usually, you can get permission if it isn't for, you know, profit. Perfect. Just let me know as soon as you can so I can get going on the proposal. Number one. What do the speakers mainly discuss? Two. How did Rockwell paint such interesting faces? Three. 
What do we know about Rockwell? Four, what do the students plan to do for extra credit? Five, listen again to part of the conversation, then answer the question. Anyway, you know what I like most about Rockwell? What? Why does the woman say this? Anyway, you know what I like most about Rockwell? Listen to part of a conversation between two friends on campus. Did you see that TV special on Norman Rockwell last night? You know, the one that Dr. Mitchell mentioned in class last Wednesday. Yeah, I did. I don't have a TV, but I went over to a friend's house. It was really good, wasn't it? It sure was. I thought it was really interesting how he made... He developed the paintings in stages, starting with photographs. I'm glad Dr. Mitchell mentioned that in class, or I, I mean I might not have understood that part of the program as well. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I thought that was interesting, too. It never occurred to me that he would have actually employed, um, models. I just assumed that he invented all those, those wonderful characters. Then when Dr. Mitchell said that the characters were real, well... I know. But it does make sense to use photographs of real people to solve as many of the, uh, the composition problems as well before starting to paint. Uh-huh, true. The special really made that clear, didn't it? It did. I like the way they, they interspersed recreations of the modeling scenes with the actual Rockwells. Really? That was awesome. I'm sorry I didn't record it. I did. Really? Yeah. Would you, I mean... Do you want to see it again? Sure. Hey, maybe we could do something for, um, extra credit? That would be great. Let's talk to Dr. Mitchell about it. Okay. He said he was open to extra credit projects. Oh, but you probably don't need any extra credit. Oh, yes, I do. I don't do that well on tests, so... Really? That's surprising. You're always the first to answer in class. Sure, but the tests are essays, and I'm not, I mean, I'm not that good at writing. Okay, then. Let's do the extra credit. Okay. Anyway, you know what I like most about Rockwell? What? Well, when you look at one of the magazine covers, which magazine was it? The Saturday Evening Post. Right. Well, you can just tell what the people are thinking and feeling. The picture really tells a story. Yeah, I like that, too. And to think that he created several hundred of those. Amazing. Of course, that was over a long period of time. Wasn't it almost 60 years? But still... I'd like to see them when the exhibit comes to Miami. What exhibit? The one they mentioned after the special. Oh, I must have turned it off before the announcement. I'd like to see it too. Maybe we can work that into our extra credit project, going to the exhibit. But even if we can't, let's go. Okay. When is it? Next week. And it's here on campus, so that's easy. Well, that gives us a couple of weeks before the end of the semester to finish the extra credit. What do you want to uh, propose for it? Remember, I'm, I'm not great at writing. Well, you've already got the video, right? Right. Then why don't we submit the video and um, some photographs of the exhibit? We could do a short introduction and maybe... I know. We could package it for the reserve desk at the library. Great idea. That way, people who didn't have a chance to see the video or uh, go to the exhibit, they could see the material in the library. And the really good thing is that Dr. Mitchell can use it every semester for his class. Wow, that's brilliant. He should like that. Now, all we have to do is uh, write the proposal for the extra credit. I'll do that. I really don't mind writing. This is terrific. I can do the photos easily. I was counting on that. After all, you're the art major. Oh, uh, just one thing. We'd better find out if I... 
if I can shoot photos at the exhibit. I mean, sometimes they won't let you do that. Even for a class project? Look, I don't know, but I'll find out who, uh, who to call for, for permission. Usually, you can get permission if it isn't for, you know, profit. Perfect. Just let me know as soon as you can so I can get going on the proposal. Number one. What do the speakers mainly discuss? Two. How did Rockwell paint such interesting faces? Three. What do we know about Rockwell? Four. What do the students plan to do for extra credit? Five. Listen again to part of the conversation, then answer the question. Anyway, you know what I like most about Rockwell? What? Why does the woman say this? Anyway, you know what I like most about Rockwell? Conversation 2 Listen to part of a conversation between two students on campus. So, Linda, how are you going to study for the final? Me? I'm going to use my notes mostly, I guess. You mean you aren't going to uh, read the book? Oh, well, yeah. I read the book, but I'm not going to spend that much time reviewing it. You know, I did that for the first couple of quizzes, but uh, there were hardly any questions from the book on them at all. So, well, I figured that uh, the midterm wouldn't have that much from the book either. Well, you were right about that. Most of the questions did come from, from the notes. From the notes, and, uh, well, there were some from the handouts, too. Right. Remember that question about, what was it, colonial art? Colonial art? Oh, yeah. Okay. It was... <laughs> Directly from the handout. But I had some notes on that, too. Did you? I'm not sure I did. Maybe your notes are more detailed, are, uh, are better than mine. I don't know about that. But I do try to write down everything I can in class, you know. Then I put it, I organize it into headings afterward. You rewrite them? Yeah, I do. You rewrite all of your notes? Yeah. It's part of my study plan. That must take a lot of time. Well, I guess so. But still, I find that I remember better when I write something down. Hmm. Okay. And besides, when I get ready to study for the final, I can... I have everything in one place. Come to think of it, I think it... Actually, it probably saves me time. Because you aren't organizing everything at the last minute for the tests. Yeah, and I sort of remember more since I've already gone over it once. Okay, okay. That sure makes sense, but... Uh, but how do you find the time to do all that uh, rewriting? I'm always behind as it is. I hardly have time to do the reading assignments. But I think maybe you spend more time on the reading assignments than I do. I just skim over them before class. It probably doesn't take me more than, say, 15 or 20 minutes max. You're joking. No, no, really. Then you must be a speed reader. I read fairly fast, but remember, I'm just skimming. Okay. But I'm not sure I know what, uh, what you mean by that, by skimming. Well, I'm looking for the main ideas before I listen to the lecture. So I pay a lot of attention to the headings and um, any words that are in bold type. If there's a summary at the end of the chapter, you know, I read that more carefully. Okay, okay. But do you uh, highlight the book or, or underline anything? Oh, maybe once in a while. But it's not how I, not the way I'm using the book, really. I'm just getting some general background information so I can be, you know, a better listener in class. Hmm. 
Now I see why you're going to use your notes for the final. By the way, what was, how did you do on the midterm using that system, I mean? I got an A, just barely, but an A anyway. I usually pull off an A, though. I have a scholarship, so you know how it is. Okay, okay. I got a B, and I studied a lot for it. But I mostly went over the highlighted material in my book, and uh, after I finished with that, I didn't have much time left to go over my notes. Well, maybe you could start with the notes this time, and, you know, go over the book last. No kidding. Thanks for the ideas, Linda. I guess it's too late to uh, rewrite all my notes for the final, but I sure plan to spend more time organizing and studying my notes than I do reviewing the book this time. Oh, and another thing. I never miss a class. You know, since the notes are so important. No problem. I'm always there, too. I thought so. But anyway, good luck, Bill. If you get an A on the final, you can still get an A for the course. I know. I'm going to try. Hey, thanks again. I, uh, I really appreciate your suggestions. Number one. What are the students mainly discussing? Two. Why does Bill mention colonial art? Three. How does Linda usually study for a test? Four. What kind of student is Linda? Five. Listen again to part of the conversation, then answer the question. You rewrite them? Yeah, I do. You rewrite all of your notes? Why does the man say this? You rewrite all of your notes? Six. What will Bill probably do? Conversation 2. Listen to part of a conversation between two students on campus. So, Linda, how are you going to study for the final? Me? I'm going to use my notes mostly, I guess. You mean you aren't going to uh, read the book? Oh, well, yeah. I read the book, but I'm not going to spend that much time reviewing it. You know, I did that for the first couple of quizzes, but... Uh, <laughs> There were hardly any questions from the book on them at all. So, well, I figured that uh, the midterm wouldn't have that much from the book either. Well, you were right about that. Most of the questions did come from, from the notes. From the notes, and, uh, well, there were some from the handouts, too. Right. Remember that question about, what was it, colonial art? Colonial art? Oh, yeah, okay. It was... <laughs> Directly from the handout. But I had some notes on that, too. Did you? I'm not sure I did. Maybe your notes are more detailed, are, uh, are better than mine. Mm, I don't know about that. But I do try to write down everything I can in class, you know. Then I put it, I organize it into headings afterward. You rewrite them? Yeah, I do. You rewrite all of your notes? Yeah. It's part of my study plan. That must take a lot of time. Well, I guess so, but still I find that I remember better when I write something down. Hmm, okay. And besides, when I get ready to study for the final, I can... I have everything in one place. Come to think of it, I think it... Actually, it probably saves me time. Because you aren't organizing everything at the last minute for the tests. Yeah, and I sort of remember more since I've already gone over it once. Okay, okay. That sure makes sense, but... Uh... But how do you find the time to do all that uh, rewriting? I'm always behind as it is. I hardly have time to do the reading assignments. But I think maybe you spend more time on the reading assignments than I do. I just skim over them before class. It probably doesn't take me more than, say, 15 or 20 minutes max. You're joking. No, no, really. 
then you must be a speed reader. I read fairly fast, but remember, I'm just skimming. Okay, but I'm not sure I know what, uh, what you mean by that, by skimming. Well, I'm looking for the main ideas before I listen to the lecture. So I pay a lot of attention to the headings and um, any words that are in bold type. If there's a summary at the end of the chapter, you know, I read that more carefully. Okay, okay. But do you uh, highlight the book or, or underline anything? Oh, maybe once in a while. But it's not how I, not the way I'm using the book, really. I'm just getting some general background information so I can be, you know, a better listener in class. Hmm. Now I see why you're going to use your notes for the final. By the way, what was, how did you do on the midterm using that system, I mean? I got an A, just barely, but an A anyway. I usually pull off an A, though. I have a scholarship, so you know how it is. Okay, okay. I got a B, and I studied a lot for it. But I mostly went over the highlighted material in my book, and uh, after I finished with that, I didn't have much time left to go over my notes. Well, maybe you could start with the notes this time and, you know, go over the book last. No kidding. Thanks for the ideas, Linda. I guess it's too late to uh, rewrite all my notes for the final, but I sure plan to spend more time organizing and studying my notes than I do reviewing the book this time. Oh, and another thing. I never miss a class. You know, since the notes are so important. No problem. I'm always there, too. I thought so. But anyway, good luck, Bill. If you get an A on the final, you can still get an A for the course. I know. I'm going to try. Hey, thanks again. I, uh, I really appreciate your suggestions. Number one. What are the students mainly discussing? Two. Why does Bill mention colonial art? Three. How does Linda usually study for a test? Four. What kind of student is Linda? Five. Listen again to part of the conversation, then answer the question. You rewrite them? Yeah, I do. You rewrite all of your notes? Why does the man say this? You rewrite all of your notes? Six. What will Bill probably do?